Hey everyone, this is Jennifer Johnson with Hot Hardware, and today we're going to take a look at the Motorola Photon 4G from Sprint. This is Sprint's first international 4G smartphone, which means that not only will it work on Sprint's network here in the United States, but it'll also work internationally when you're roaming on GSM networks. In terms of specs, this phone features a dual-core NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor, with each core running at 1 GHz and 1 GB of RAM. As far as storage is concerned, the phone has 16 GB of onboard memory, as well as an empty micro SD card slot. You can see looking at the front of the phone here that it has a large 4.3 inch touchscreen with quarter high definition resolution. Taking a look at the viewing angles, you can see that it's really quite excellent. And while we're looking at the front of the phone, let's point out this VGA webcam up top. You can also see the angled corners around the edges of the phone. It's kind of a nice touch compared to just the standard rectangular um, shape that we usually see on phones. Um, other key specs here, looking around the edges, you have your micro USB port here, micro HDMI port. You have your camera button and a volume rocker. And one thing to note about these is they're ridged and they're also ever so slightly raised from the edge of the phone. And then you have your power button and your headset jack up top. On the back you have your 8 megapixel camera that's also capable of recording video as well as a dual LED flash. And then of course you got this kickstand here which is kind of nice. Props up the phone and you can use it either orientation here. While we have it open, let's point out that when you open the kickstand, it will pull up and ask you what you want to do, and as you can see, we pulled up the widget here. We'll pull up a YouTube video real quick and give you a look at what this phone can do. Hi, this is Jason Kubicki for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by. This is Hot Hardware's first ever Apple review, and today... And one thing we'll also point out is when you have the kickstand open, it will not switch back to portrait mode. You can rotate the phone and keep it in landscape-only mode. Go ahead and close the kickstand here. Let's take a look at some of the uh, applications here loaded on the phone. You can see there's a little bit of a list here. And of course you got your all your Sprint applications. One of the things we do really like is that Sprint has enabled you to uninstall some of the applications that come preloaded. Um, that's kind of a new thing that Sprint's been doing and it's definitely something we appreciate. As far as uh, unique applications, let's see we have here, um, of course your mobile hotspot management, your NASCAR, Motorola's phone portal kind of lets you manage the phone um, via a computer. You can see here that there's a little bit of customization, especially on some of like the widgets and um, options that are available. Take a look at some of the Motorola widgets that come on the phone here. Um, you can toggle 4G on and off and a uh, few other things, C um, contact management. Um, date and time, GPS, a few others. Some of them are kind of nice add-ons. Let's take a quick look at the web browser here. We'll load up our favorite site. This is running over Wi-Fi and it loads pretty quickly. We'll do our standard pinch and zoom. Pretty fluid. Accelerometer. Pretty quick. Looks pretty good. And of course, you can always do the double tap to zoom in as well. This has been a look at the Motorola Photon 4G from Sprint. Be sure to stop by the site for the full hands on review. Thanks for stopping by.